JTLS Global Operations, or JTLS Go, is the world's leading operational level wargaming system. JTLS Go is an interactive system for modeling joint and coalition operations in both military and civilian environments at the strategic and operational levels of war, with particular emphasis on the operational level. JTLS Go is capable of simulating all mission domains, including ground, maritime, Air, Logistics, Intelligence, Space and Satellite Operations, and Special Operations Forces. JTLS Go is a data-driven simulation system which allows the user to build their own database and scenarios for use by JTLS Go according to user goals and requirements. JTLS Go is currently in use by the United States government and the U.S. Combatant Commands the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and more than a dozen other countries around the world for computer-assisted exercises, operational plan analysis, and concept analysis. JTLS Go is not a single program. It is a system of multiple, separately executing programs that function together to accomplish the goals of the simulation. JTLS Go is a web-enabled system, which normally executes on a server or servers that any computer with access to the network can connect to, allowing many individual operators to monitor and submit orders to forces under their control. The primary programs of JTLS Go run on the Linux operating system, while the user interface programs may run on any operating system through a Java-enabled web browser. JTLS Go is capable of connecting to real-world C4i systems and feeding them data during an exercise. JTLS Go is also capable of operating with other simulation systems as part of a federation. JTLS Go is capable of representing a global battle space. Terrain is generated by JTLS Go and is divided into grids, which allow the map to represent different types of terrain, quality of roads, elevation and depth, and so on. Varying the size of grids allows a specific region to be represented in great detail, while other regions outside of the area of interest can be represented with less detail. JTLS Go represents aggregate units in the battle space, such as divisions and companies, wings and squadrons, and individual ships. Units are organized in an order of battle, which allows each unit to command its subordinate units and pass directives, such as movement orders or rules of engagement, down the chain of command. Non-combatant civilians are usually represented as their own force sides, which allows them to exist in the simulation environment but keeps them out of the military chain of command. Civilian air traffic is explicitly represented, and diseases can be represented to simulate epidemics and facilitate response training. While JTLS Go is designed to primarily represent units of a battalion or company size, smaller units or even individual personnel or vehicles can be represented. These high-resolution units, or HRUs, can be built in the scenario database or created during the game by splitting an HRU off of a larger unit that has the desired personnel and equipment. HRUs represent a diverse range of units, including special operations teams like SEALs, lifeboats and downed pilots, interpreters, traffic control units, or VIPs. Existing alongside units in JTLS Go are what we call targets, which are used to represent anything of military significance that is not a unit, including objects that are assigned to a unit, such as radars, or surface-to-air missile launchers, or objects that simply exist in the battle space but which are not assigned to a unit, such as minefields or bridges. JTLS Go is capable of representing the collection of intelligence in the battle space. Units can detect other units and targets on the battlefield, employing a sophisticated method of detection and identification representative of the real-world process of intelligence gathering. Satellite reconnaissance is simulated as well, although JTLS Go cannot simulate actual reconnaissance imagery. JTLS Go has a powerful combat model that can give the user the ability to issue combat orders to individual or multiple units, including orders to advance along a route and attack enemy units, fire artillery at a unit, target, or location, perform engineering tasks, attach or detach units, delay an advancing enemy, or withdraw, and so on. 
Users can assign rules of engagement to individual units, including or excluding their subordinates, or to entire four sides at a time, and can be tailored to the mission each unit is tasked to perform. If permissive rules of engagement are issued to an air defense unit, for example, that unit will fire on enemy aircraft should they stray within the engagement range of that launcher. Restrictive rules of engagement are also possible. Your ground forces may have permission to fire on enemy ground forces, but be prohibited from firing upon enemy air forces. Actions taken by units or entities are based on their perceived force side relationship with the object involved. Units can requisition supplies when their own stocks run below a certain threshold, and a complete logistics hierarchy is represented in the simulation. Convoys of trucks, trains, and barges are automatically generated and transport supplies in the battle space from a depot, base, or other unit to the requesting unit, and can be intercepted and engaged by enemy forces. Supplies can also be moved from one unit to another by the aforementioned methods, or by air or by sea, and pipelines to transfer oil and gas are also represented. All logistics representation can be handled by users or automatically by the system. JTLS Go also has the capability to bring in units scheduled to enter the scenario at a time later than game start. Aerial combat, air-to-ground strike missions, reconnaissance and AWACS, and air mobility and sustainment, including aerial refueling, are all represented within JTLS Go. Fixed wing and rotary aircraft, unmanned aerial vehicles, naval helicopters, and carrier air wings are all represented. JTLS Go is capable of reading an air tasking order from ICC or TBMCS to generate mission orders directly into the game and can form air mission packages containing several air missions working together to perform a single task. Maritime operations are represented in JTLS Go on the level of the individual ship or formation of ships. Ships are part of the force side order of battle and are otherwise treated like any other unit. They can receive orders, move through the theater, engage in combat, fire missiles, consume supplies, and suffer casualties and damage. Ships can also carry aviation assets and soft teams, or can detach personnel to go ashore or augment the crew of an undermanned ship. Submarines are treated like ships that have the additional capability to submerge. Nuclear, diesel electric, and air independent propulsion methods are represented, along with ballistic missile submarines and submarine deployed soft teams. The use of submarines to tap undersea cables is not explicitly represented, but can be simulated using JTLS Go. JTLS Go has been used to simulate military and civilian scenarios, including humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, floods, wildfires, earthquakes, chemical or radioactive contamination, and disease outbreaks. The basic concept of a computer-assisted exercise is that a simulation system, such as JTLS Go, is used to assist in training an audience of personnel, typically composed of headquarters and service component staff officers. This training audience will be presented with a scenario that they must respond to, with JTLS Go adjudicating the results of the orders sent to the simulated force while a separate exercise control group manages the exercise and controls any opposing forces or non-combatants in the theater of operations. Model response cells and interface controllers serve as liaisons between the training audience and JTLS Go. The training audience use the interface systems they would use during a real operation to maximize the effectiveness of their training, to train as you fight. And JTLS Go can update C4I systems through a direct connection and can send and receive OTH Gold and Link 16 messages. JTLS Go is able to generate a wide variety of reports to provide up-to-date information to users and the training audience on demand. The user can request a report on the status of amphibious operations, the number of barges owned by their foresight, or a description of the battle damage assessment areas that have been set up. 
Reports can be delivered in real-world U.S. message text formats and can be sent to the training audience as requested. The user interface and map are also configurable to user requirements. A user handling naval operations can choose to hide all ground forces on their map, while a user handling air defense can highlight air defense assets and visually display the coverage each air defense asset has. JTLS Go will also automatically provide a situation report of any selected unit a user can see on the map. JTLS Go contains a robust after-action reporting capability, as well as the ability to record and replay a scenario for analysis after the simulation has been conducted. This capability is also useful for concept analysis, such as examining the theoretical impact of new technologies on the battlefield. JTLS Go is exclusively developed by Rollins & Associates Corporation, a trusted industry leader and pioneer in modeling and simulation, based in Monterey, California. JTLS Go development began in 1983 and is managed by the U.S. Joint Staff J7 Directorate for Joint Force Development, with improvements and updates on a regular basis. Rollins & Associates provides support for JTLS Go installation, training, and execution, and will continue to provide the same excellent service for many years to come.